Now the Hazleton area is under virtual lockdown with several communities enacting nighttime curfews. This is in response to skyrocketing numbers of confirmed COVID-19 cases in that part of Luzerne County. The I-Team's Andy Mahalshik joins us live from downtown Hazleton, where a curfew is just hours away from taking effect. Andy? Well, good evening, Candace. T minus two hours of counting, and a curfew takes effect here in Hazleton. It'll take effect from 8 p.m. till 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, and basically, it limits or restricts most, if not all, movement in the city during that time period. There's also restrictions during the day, and more on that in a moment. This big sign downtown Hazleton puts out the message in English and Spanish: "Stay home, stay safe, or you could face some trouble." The message is simple: stay home and stay safe. A curfew goes into effect at 8 o'clock tonight and lasts until 6 a.m. Three city council members set up the electronic billboard at Broad and Church Streets. We want to tell people is the curfew is being enforced. As you can see, we have our officers are with us. Uh, you are able to be stopped if you don't have a note that you're going to or from work or a firefighter or police or EMS or health care provider. You can't be cited. Hazleton City has become a hot zone for COVID-19 cases in recent days. City leaders say it's because many residents are not practicing proper social distancing. In nearby West Hazleton, this sign near Route 93 alerts residents of a curfew that took effect last night at 8 p.m. So we have to try to get people to stay home, and they don't seem to be taking it seriously. Violating the curfew could result in fines of up to $300 and 90 days in jail. We're going to have uh, extra officers out, and we are going to be enforcing the curfew from 8 p.m. at night until 6 a.m. in the morning. And the purpose of this is in order to stop people from going out that don't need to go out so that, that way we could stop the spread of, of this virus. We found mixed opinions from people on the street about the need for these curfews. Some folks like Ricardo Santos were totally in. Well, I think everybody should be very cautious outside and listen to the authorities. If you have nothing to do, stay home. But others like Roseanne from West Hazleton aren't so sure the curfews are needed. I'm careful, people are careful, but I still think it's overplayed. And the concern is so great here in Hazleton that Luzerne County Manager David Pedri yesterday made a request to Governor Tom Wolf to mobilize the National Guard for the city of Hazleton. Now, we reached out today. We sent a question to Dr. Rachel Levine during her daily COVID-19 news conference this afternoon, asking her about the National Guard. Here's part of her response. She said in, our, in response to our question, the request has been received by Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency. All options for assistance to the municipality meaning Hazleton, are being considered at this time. Now, you can read the rest of the response from the governor's office coming up on PAHomepage.com. Again, the curfew takes effect tonight, 8 o'clock till 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Well, much more tonight. I have this news at 11 in another live report. Reporting live in downtown Hazleton, Andy Mahalshik, Eyewitness News. All right, Andy, thank you. Hopefully people will heed that warning.